Every object has a natural resonant frequency, the speed at which it will vibrate if bumped or otherwise disturbed by some stimulus, such as a sound wave. Glass wine goblets are especially resonant because of their hollow tubular shape. The thing is that every object has a specific resonant tone, and that's what we need to do is find that tone and isolate it and focus it directly at the glass, and we should be able to get it to break. Think cool. you can do it? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. All right, let's go find the tone. All right. You've seen this before, right? Yep. Yep. Movies. Ben Franklin made a whole harp out of it. I want to get one of those. All right. Sounds good. A glass has a natural resonance, a frequency at which it will vibrate easily. The resonant frequency of this glass is about 523 hertz, which is the same resonant frequency as the key of C. Can Betty hold a C note long enough and loud enough to shatter the glass? We need to sustain that tone for as long as we can because we really need to kind of build it up. I want to break it so bad. I believe you can do it. Yeah. All right, so you ready to go, Betty? Yeah, I'm ready. All you right. Can do this. Give it a shot. Put in your earplugs, everybody. Betty's got some amazing pipes. She can generate the resonant frequency, but maybe not enough volume to shatter the glass. All right, Jim, give it a shot. All right, Jim, you didn't smack it with your trumpet bell, did you? No, I didn't. Nicely done, nicely done. Thanks. You could feel the resonance of it feeding back, and right when it popped, the sound stopped. And I think it's kind of interesting that the side that failed was the side where the trumpet bell was. Uh -huh. So since the tone wasn't coming out of the speaker, it didn't resonate through the entire glass as much, and it really focused on that one area. It proved exactly what we were talking about. All right. Nicely done. Science. Fires are out thanks to dish soap, and only one glass is broken. <laughs>